You're you put it in go. the oven, and it happens. <laughs> At what? That went up my mouth. What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking zero waste washing powder. I know, not the most exciting video topic, but if you are a zero waste eco lover, then believe me, this stuff does get you excited. This is the simplest, easiest, quickest laundry detergent or washing powder recipe that you will find out there. Not only is it environmentally friendly and non-toxic to aquatic life, it's also budget friendly and plastic free. All the things that we love and throw in there, palm oil free, we have a recipe for success. So if you are a fan of zero waste videos, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also please don't forget to hit subscribe for more videos like this one. I should just note a little disclaimer that I am absolutely covered in paint. So I just point that out there so that you don't think I haven't washed myself in three days. We're actually just painting the house and paint goes everywhere. So I think the first thing you might be wondering is why do I need to switch my laundry detergent? And the reason is on the back of traditional washing powders and laundry detergents, there are a mass of warnings that many people, many consumers don't pay attention to. This shocked me when I found it out first. But if you look on the back of this well-known washing brand, you can see the list of warnings and health hazards that come along with something you thought was simple, like washing your clothes. One of the most shocking warnings that you would see on the back of many washing detergents and laundry detergents out there is do not release into the environment. And what are we doing when we wash our clothes and the water goes down the drain? We are releasing those harmful chemicals into the environment. The sad reality is that many of us don't realize how harmful these chemicals are to your eyes, to your skin, and if the possibility is there to avoid it, then I think we absolutely should. So with all that said, I'm delighted to have been able to source an eco-friendly, child-friendly, skin-friendly alternative. And with just two main ingredients and a slight chemical reaction, we can make some really effective washing detergent that avoids all of those issues. So the simple household ingredients in this recipe are bicarbonate of soda, which we will transform into washing soda in the oven. And you will also need a laundry detergent bar. You can use Castile soap if you like. However, the traditional brands of Castile soap, most well known being Dr. Bronner, actually contains palm oil. So if you are somebody like us who tries to avoid palm oil at all costs, you should avoid Dr. Bonner. And that is just a full disclaimer on the palm oil front. So the soap that I'm going to be using today is a vegan laundry bar from Palm Free Irish Soap. And they do stock online, so I will leave a link to their website in the description box. This is what we are going to mix with our washing soda to make our washing powder. Simple as that. For anybody who lives in Ireland and you want to get your hands on some zero waste bicarbonate of soda, I picked this up at Mr. Price. It comes in a cardboard box and it is completely plastic packaging free. And just a couple of other things things you would need to make your washing powder is a baking dish and a cheese grater. These are both old utensils that we had in the kitchen. This actually has a giant crack in it so we can't cope with it anymore and this cheese grater is well past its use by date. However, it just goes to show that you can have items in your kitchen that do not need to go into the bin. Obviously, we're making washing powder so we don't necessarily want to be using the same utensils that we cook with to make this even though you can because it is perfectly safe. It's another thing you consider as part of your zero wasting lifestyle. So now with our two zero waste ingredients, let's go ahead and make our washing powder. So the most cumbersome and tiresome part of this is that you are going to have to grate an entire bar of laundry soap. This gets taxing, so if there's somebody else in your house that can give you a hand, definitely grab them. The recipe is one bar of laundry soap to two cups of washing soda. So I'm going to force Danny to grate this entire bar. He's standing there shaking his head at me. Right. <laughs> You're a great little worker. Oh. <laughs> This is easy. Thank you for your help. So while Danny is grating that laundry bar, we are going to take our bicarbonate of soda, which is also called baking powder, depending on where in the world you are, and we are going to place an inch of bicarbonate into your baking tray. You can use any kind of dish for this, but what you want to make sure is that you get about an inch covering all around, and then what you're actually going to do is pop it into the oven and leave it alone for one hour at 200 degrees or 180 degrees Celsius in a fan oven, and that is going to produce a chemical reaction to turn your bicarbonate of soda 
into your washing soda. Give it a stir one to two times throughout and that is it. It is going to change in texture so that you know it's done. So bicarbonate of soda it has a really silky texture but by the time you're finished your washing soda will look a little bit more grainy and more texturized almost like little tiny crystals. And for your reference in order to get your two cups of bicarbonate of soda to change into your washing soda you need about 700 grams of that bicarbonate. So our bicarbonate of soda has been in the oven for one hour at 200, it is out. And what you wanna do is let this cool down before mixing it with your grated up soap and popping it into a sealed container. And for the sciencey bit of this, it's quite technical, but essentially all your washing soda is going to do is bind to any hard water molecules that are in your water at home to make sure that your soap can do its job and clean your clothes. So now that my washing soda has fully cooled down, I've added it to an airtight container. Anything at all will do, whatever you have lying around your house. I just happen to have this really cute base water bottle thing from Ikea. And to this, I've added the grated laundry bar, giving it a good mix up, and it is really as simple as that. All you want to do now is store that away from moisture and add a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half to the drum of your washing machine when you want to wash your clothes. And with this 800 gram mixture, you should get about 50 washes, which is absolutely incredible. It's also super budget friendly. I will leave the cost breakdown in the description box below so you can see just how cheap this is. So overall, this really is a win-win situation. You're being kind to the environment, kind to your skin, avoiding toxins, avoiding any poisonous endocrine disruptors and I do hope that you will give this a try at home yourself. If you did like this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also hit subscribe for more videos like this one and I really look forward to seeing you back on my channel again. Bye!